Hi, I am Malik Jardo and welcome to your tutorial to the Planetary Gear Systems. Before starting, I would like to introduce the outline of tutorial, an overview of the Planetary Gear Set and its application, sketches and construction parameters, design methods and animation, and finally the conclusion. The Planetary Gear Set, also known as the Epicyclic Gear Train, is one of the most important and interesting inventions in engineering. They are great speed variation mechanisms and are often used in automobiles as a vital part of the automatic transmissions. Let's explore the secrets of the Planetary Gear Set in this video. A Planetary Gear Set has four main parts. The Sun, the Planet Gears, Ring Gear and the Carrier. The number of these shown is as a reference for working mechanism of unevenly distributed or displaced planet gears, which is more complex than designing the one with symmetric displacement of the planet gears. Moving on with sketches and construction parameters. The input and output axis of a planetary gear system are on the same line. It's compact in space but complex in structure. Planetary gear systems need a high quality manufacturing process. The load division between planet gears, the interference of the internal gear, the balance and vibration of the rotating carrier, and the hazard of jamming exciter are inherent problems to be solved. The sun gear, ring gear, and carrier have a common axis. In order to determine the relationship among the numbers of T's of the gears, these parameters must satisfy the following three conditions. Starting with the first condition, which is the one necessary for the center distance of the gears to match. The second condition is necessary for placing the planet gears evenly spaced around the sun gear. However, in this tutorial the mechanism is a configuration of uneven placement of planet gears. Therefore, the next equation must be satisfied, where theta half the angle between adjacent planet gears. Satisfying the third condition ensures that adjacent planet gears can operate without interfering with each other. This is a condition that must be met for standard gear design with equal placement of planet gears. But in our case, the system must satisfy the last relationship below where DAB, which is the tip diameter of the planet gears, and the alpha one, the center distance between the sun and the planet gears. Moving on with the animation and working principle of the mechanism. The transmission ratio of planetary gear systems. In a planetary gear system, the transmission ratio and the direction of rotation would be changed according to fixed member. The first figure contains three typical types of planetary gear mechanisms. But let's start with a planetary type. In this type, the ring gear is fixed. The input is a sun gear and the output is a carrier D. The transmission ratio is calculated as used in the table. Note that the direction of rotation of input and output axis are the same. I have created the animation shown in the left to make visualization easier. In our case, as calculated, the transmission ratio is approximately 5.27. The star type. This is a type in which the carrier D is fixed, which also means planet gears cannot rotate in their own axis. In a strict definition, this train loses the features of planetary system and it becomes an ordinary gear train. The sun gear is an input axis and the internal gear, which is also called the ring gear, is the output. The calculated transmission ratio here is minus 4.26. The last configuration is the solar type. In this type, the sun gear is fixed. The ring gear is C, the input and the carrier D axis is the output. The speed ratio is calculated as in table. Note that the directions of the rotation of input and output axis are the same. In our case as calculated, the transmission ratio is 1.24. After watching this tutorial, 
Anybody with fundamental engineering knowledge can create his own planetary gear set with any desired gear numbers and configurations. This project was developed by the knowledge taken from academic sources like khkgears.net. The CAD animation was created using Autodesk Student Edition with the license provided by Autodesk. Thank you.